We're now going to take a look at ways in which we can reduce this popping up of trees in the background that is associated with this uh, fog effect. Now, you only need to do this if you are planning on using the uh, fog effect. If you're continuing to go with the scene as we had it before and you're not going to use the fog, you don't need to do this. Okay, so what's causing it? If we just click on the terrain, and uh, oh, I think I clicked on audio file there. Uh, on the terrain, uh, we have this little cog, which is the terrain settings. If we click on this, we have tree and detail objects. Okay, uh, and what, what we have here basically are a bunch of uh, sliders. Now the tree distance is set at 500 and the billboard start at 130 and the fade length is only 30. Okay, so it's these three things uh, that are causing the trees to pop um, particularly the fade length okay so um, anything beyond 30 uh, units away from the camera um, the trees are going to be at a billboard state uh, and then as soon as you get closer to one of those trees and you actually get it within that 30 range it will actually pop into view so we can change this the fade length However, that will put extra pressure on the uh, processor and the graphics card, which may affect your frames per second. So before we do this, I just want to try um, using uh, a greater deal of fog in the background, which may very well fix this issue. OK, so to do that, we're going to go to Window, Rendering and Lighting Settings. Uh, I'm just going to dock this up here. So we have our fog. Uh, and at the moment it's on a linear mode okay we can actually change that to an exponential mode and in that way we'll have um, we'll have a certain amount of density that covers the entire map now at the moment it's on 0 0.003 so it's barely even noticeable if we change this number to about 0 0.04 we should notice quite a bit of difference. So right there in this in this game view, we can now see that those elements in the background um, have actually been fogged out using this color. Okay, and when combined with the um, fog effect, the particles, this may very well solve the popping issue. Uh, and hopefully it will also increase the look of the fog as well. So I'm going to do a walkthrough in the next video and we'll see what kind of an effect we get.